Hey everyone, Vito here, and on this video I'm gonna go through the prototype template that is provided with WP Feedback Pro as a way of creating layouts and uh, website wireframes in literally minutes, uh, saving you a lot of time from your processes, but also creating a nice flowing project uh, instead of a fragmented experience for you and for your client. So the, there's a few reasons why we created this template. The first thing is because we saw how that uh, a lot of you guys either don't do any step uh, when it comes to approving the layout of the website and just dive in directly into the design and then encounter a lot of scope creep and a lot of additional features that were not discussed, were not approved and kind of found their way into the build uh, at a later stage. So this step is going to eliminate that, uh, that experience uh, from the project because everything is properly communicated in the right stage of the project by creating this thing and it's actually going to save you time instead of adding time to the project. Project, so it's a smart move to do. Um, then another thing is a uh, gathering content, which is a huge, huge problem in the ecosystem. And every person that delivered websites to client knows that a lot of times they just uh, don't do it. And the main reason why they don't do it is because they don't know how to do it. And we sometimes expect them to know how to face a blank uh, Google Doc or even an elaborate kind of spreadsheet and just come up with the content uh, um, uh, straight out of uh, their mind. Uh, but this process allows them to provide the content visually and within context. And this is the key. Uh, if you uh, if you lay out a section, and even this one, if even if I just had placeholder text on all of these parts, uh, it would be very clear to a person that looks at it at, in terms of what they need to add. Okay, I need to think of three points that will fill in this point. I need to think of four points, maybe five. I'll ask for one more. And then there's some kind of a notice here. And of course, what is the big title, my big promise, and so on. So just by creating context, it's very easy to provide content. And this process allows them to do that. And then finally, training your client. So one thing that happens often in projects is that we are training our clients three to five times throughout the project on different tools. So once they need to kind of understand how to work with that Google document uh, that you send them or that spreadsheet that needs to be explained as well. Uh, and then of course, we're communicating via email. And then we send them to this form to maybe uh, submit some of the content or some of the media files and so on. Uh, so it's just a mess. And it's a very fragmented experience for the client uh, when uh, uh, when the, you're you're supposed to be leading them through that uh, through that project. Uh, so this system is going to allow you to train your clients only once uh, with one sentence that I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And then throughout the project, they're just going to be using the same tool to uh, co communicate and collaborate with you for everything regarding their project as well as their relationships with you through the dashboard uh, uh, and general tasks. But let's focus on this for now and see how, what we have here. So if I'm gonna scroll down below this section that you can obviously delete, you can see that we have different uh, types of sections for every standard section within a, a standard website. So for example, we have three headers here. We have a few, a bunch of, uh, a, a, a bunch of hero sections in here, uh, some uh, some of these uh, icon sections, and so on and so on. Now let's see how this works. So I'm going to show this within Elementor Pro, uh, which is this template, but we're providing this template for uh, uh, other page builders as well. Uh, and if we don't have yours, just uh, ping us and we'll uh, see what we can do about that. Uh, so let's go in and see how it looks inside. So right now I'm inside the Elementor uh, editor. And as you can see, I have the navigator turned on through by clicking on this uh, icon right here. And you can see that I have a bunch of different sections to choose from. And my process is very simple. Instead of building everything from scratch every time, either on XD or Sketch or, uh, or any third party kind of tools, uh, the, your process is to just delete. And so I'm gonna choose uh, out of these op three options, I'm gonna choose this header. So let me start by deleting the introduction section that I don't need anymore. And I'm going to delete the first and the second header. And there we go. I have a header. Then I'm going to choose uh, a hero section out of the four options that I have here. I kind of like this one. So I'll go with this one for this project. So I'll delete this guy and this guy and the fourth one that is below this. 
Great, now I'm getting to the next section here, the featured icons, and I can choose which one I want out of those guys. And of course, I continue down here with, uh, uh, we have the featured icons, then we have featured sections with images or call to actions or all kinds of different layouts that you can play around with, with check marks, uh, maybe something like this would be nice. And then we have the content areas, uh, which is great for uh, blog posts or for uh, uh, any kind of, uh, um, um, you know, like CPT templates uh, for any kind of uh, custom post types uh, that you want to build. We have one with a sidebar here as well. And then we get to the testimonials areas. And again, we choose and some grids. And finally, there's a few contact uh, uh, sections to choose from. So the process is super simple. You just delete what you don't want. And you can use this template for every single page of the website, uh, from the homepage to the about page, contact us areas, uh, contact us uh, pages, uh, services, uh, uh, like I said, blog posts, and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, just use the same one and delete what you don't need. Over time, you're going to find that you're going to save your own templates out of our base one so you know without the introduction from the get-go just the type of header that you like or maybe the two that you like and so on and just uh, you're gonna build your own uh, small library of uh, templates that you can just load it up and you have a home page pretty much 90% uh, created in terms of layout uh, and then of course you can work with the client to uh, collaborate on this so let's see how that process looks so let me just uh, clean up a few of these here real quick and then uh, we'll move on to see how we can do uh, the front side. Okay, I'm just going to click update and let's see what we have. So right, it took us um, uh, literally two minutes to create this page uh, with the header and this section. We have uh, these little icons here, a few uh, areas like that. Then we're going to go to this one. I should probably delete this guy as well. Let me do that. Right, so that's it. And then we have um, a testimonial right here, a few services or uh, recent blog posts. And finally, we have the contact us uh, section. Now that we have this prototype, we also have WP Feedback Pro installed on this website. And again, the process is super simple. Click the plus icon and ask for stuff from the client. Can you please provide the logo? and you expect them to upload it to here. Simply upload the logo and then you have it uh, because they see wh what it looks like. Then the, it also going to bring up questions like, but I have a square logo or um, I was thinking of maybe it would be better on the left side and so on. So you're just invoking some thought in terms of how the header is going to look like, but you already made a decision. And in most cases, they're usually going to go with that decision and adapt themselves because they have visual representation of what you have in your mind. And again, I can continue with images and uh, all of these sections. So for example, what do I need from the client on this section? I'm just going to click the plus icon and uh, choose it on here and say, Yeah, so now that we described in one sentence what we need about the, around this section, the client knows that, okay, I'm going to provide one sentence for this guy, some kind of a title, then a bit of a description. Then because there is vi it's visual and there is context, they can see, all right, so I'll probably need to come up with three benefits to my service and uh, I'll probably going to keep it in the same length because I can see it. Uh, as opposed to doing it in any other way where usually what you get is like, um, you know, three lines for this one and five paragraphs for this section. Uh, and again, we have something different here and something different here and so on. So this just gives it nice kind of uniform approach to understanding what we need from the client in terms of content for every part of the website. And finally, I want to show you how we can train the client and invite them to start collaborating uh, uh, on the project with a seamless process that just takes them from the beginning of the project, the early stages, like where we are right now, all the way to the support. So what I like to do is I click the plus icon and I choose a, an area on the top section of the website. Just leave a comment that looks like this. Uh, this is the suggested layout for the homepage. Please click the plus icon to comment on any section of this page if anything needs changing. Then. Please add the text for each area with the placeholder text. Uh, if you have suggested for images, please send these as well for each section. 
I'm going to add this comment and then I'm going to refresh the page just to get the link uh, updated for this task. And there it is. And then I'm just going to copy this in and send this link to the client. Now I can also uh, eliminate the logging from this step. Let's say this is a staging website and I can uh, safely send the client over without them logging in. Uh, I can just click this icon and copy this in. Now let's see it from their side. Just going to open an incognito window here and load the same URL that I just copied from that task, which lands me on the website. It's going to pop open this task. So this is what the client sees as they land on it for the first time. This is the suggested layout uh, for the homepage. Please click the plus icon and give me the content. Sure. Um, on it. That's it in the That's it. In 10 minutes we understood how to create a layout. That's it. In 10 minutes we understood how to approve our layouts and why we're actually creating these layouts or why do people even create wireframes uh, to uh, to eliminate scope creep of course, but also we're doing this without any duplicate work, without building it in one platform and then recreating it in another platform. We're just starting where it makes sense and just continue from that point on. From here all that is left is to paint this up according to the client's uh, brand and his marketing goals for the website. Uh, then we saw how to gather the content in an efficient way, in, an, in a way that is interactive to the client because they have visual context and they have context around the layout of the page. Then we also saw how to train clients with a short message that this will be the only thing that you will be sharing your client in terms of training them uh, uh, throughout the entire project. So forget about teaching them how to use the spreadsheet and that third party tool and uh, the Google Doc as well as how to send you information via email. Everything was just done with that short uh, paragraph over there. That's it. I hope you guys are enjoying the experience and uh, please reach out to the support if you have any questions or any or you need any help with your project delivery.